Hey guys, welcome to channel Dev Kage. In this video, I'll show you how to use List Will Scroll View widget. List Will Scroll View widget is similar to List View widget, but with some better visual effects. So let's dive into the code. So first of all, I'll remove the center widget from this demo app and will add a List Will Scroll View widget. You can use the default constructor of this widget and provide a list of widgets to its children property, just like List View. But for the demo. I'll use the use delegate named constructor which will allow us to build the contents of this list lazily. So use delegate needs an item extent and a child delegate. Item extent controls the height of each item so I'll set it to 200. For the child delegate I'll use the list view child builder delegate. This delegate needs a builder function so I'll return a container from this builder and just to see something in our app I'll set the color property of container to green. There seems to be some error in this builder. Let's see what the error is. Oh, so I forgot to add the second parameter to our builder function, which is the index of current item. Let me add that real quick. And now I can set the child property of this container as center text widget. This will show the item number for each element of this list. And now if I save this code, you will see that the curved list gets displayed in the app. If I try to scroll this list, it will show a nice 3D scroll effect. I'll also specify the child count as 100 so that we have a limited item in the list. Now let's try to see how we can customize this widget. So there is this property called magnification where you can set the magnification factor that you want for the item at the center of the list. For the magnification to work, you will also have to set the use magnifier to true. And now the specified magnification will be applied to the list item which is at the center of the list. Next, you can change the diameter ratio to control the curvature of this list. If I set it to 1, the curve will become too tight. And as I increase it to a bigger number, it will become more and more flat. For now, I'll set it to 3. Just like the curvature, you can tilt the axis of this list using off axis fraction. If you want to perform some actions based on the item that is currently at the center of the list, you can use the on selected item change property. Here you can specify a function which can take the index of center item. I'll write some debug code to print out the item number which is currently selected. If I save this code and check the debug console, we can see that the item number of selected item gets printed here. Next, if you want to squeeze or separate the items of this list, you can use the squeeze property. Setting a value greater than 1 will overlap the items, and for values less than 1, the items will get spacing in between them. You might notice that when we scroll the list, the items at top and bottom get suddenly clipped away. If you don't want that, Set the render child outside viewport to true and clip to size to false. This will stop that clipping at the ends. At last, you can change the physics property to bounce scroll physics to have a nice bounce effect at the end of list. So that was it for list wheel scroll view guys. If you liked the video hit the like button and if you disliked it hit the dislike button. And please do subscribe for more such content.